Hello, I am Mike Beckfar, and today I'm going to demonstrate how I put on my clown makeup. I have two clown characters, but today I am going to demonstrate my white face clown character. To begin, to on my makeup, I begin by cleaning and drying off my face. I use Mayron Clown White Makeup. And because I'm doing the white face, I need a lot of makeup, so I use the big tub of makeup. And I really just start out by grabbing a, a handful of makeup and putting it on my hand. And now, there's, I don't really have to be neat because there's no edges to worry about. I'm just going to cover everything with white. Once I get everything covered, the single layer of white. Then I can begin to even it out. And to even it out, you just pat. And here you're removing any fingerprints and streaks. Every time you pat, you're picking up a little bit of the makeup. You're moving it to where you need more and taking it for where you don't need as much. Once I get the uh, white even, clean my hands off. A traditional white face clown will use black, white, and red. Um, clowns can also add in blue and other colors. I use the it's considered the wet method, which means that the makeup remains wet. I do not powder it until I am done. Here, I'm using a Q-tip, and you can see that the Q-tip will actually remove the makeup. And I do that so I can apply the next color makeup and not have two colors blend. There, I've cut out where I want my eyebrows to be. And I cut out where I want my mouth to be. Clown usually just colors in their lower lip. And then we'll add in just some pips or dots along their upper lip. Coloring in my eyebrows. And I use a blue makeup and a brush. And I just uh, take out a little of the makeup and apply it to my hand. And this is sort of just my palette so I can put enough makeup so I'm not dipping into the container back and forth all the time. I use a little bit of the blue as accents for my eyes. That is going to be the black, which I'm going to use to outline 
under my eyeline or my eyebrows and also to color in my lower lip. And I just take a little of the makeup out. Get it on the brush. I could add red to my cheeks now using the grease paint makeup or I can use a blush after I powder and I'm going to use the blush and I'm using a, uh, a baby powder Johnson & Johnson uh, just talc no cornstarch and I begin just uh, dusting my face and then patting it on This is a very light powder brush. It's not going to pick up the makeup. And I switch to a second powder brush. My goal is to set the makeup so it is dry to touch. After applying the powder, I switch to a goat hair brush and brush off the excess powder. I clean off my hands. And clean off my nose. You don't want to have powder on your nose when you get glue. And I just apply a, just a dot of glue on my finger. Just get a little bit of glue on the nose. Uh, dry clear. And I just touch a little glue onto the nose itself, on the two sides, and then I set it aside. The nose is usually the last thing I finish with, so I can go on to uh, putting on the the red uh, blush. So I'm using just a powder and a uh, a brush, and I usually go sort of a comma shape on each cheek. Try to get both sides even. That's a little bit color and depth. You know I'm done. Put on the notes. Just push it on so the glue holds. And there you are. That's how I put on my comb makeup. This is Mike Beckfar, also known as Sutuni Van Dukes. Thank you for watching.